differentiation and the equation of the normal. Now we don't actually know the differentiation question to start with because we're just asked to work out the equation of the normal to the curve y equals x squared plus 4x plus 5. Now what is a normal? Well if we have, I'm not sure what this, this um, graph is going to look like, but if we have uh, a quadratic graph where, and uh, x equals minus 3 we've got an equation of a straight line that touches that value. So that's say minus 3, then the normal is the one that's perpendicular to the gradient, so at right angles to the gradient. So if we can work out the gradient at that point, and the way to work out the gradient of a point on a, line, on a curve is to work out, to differentiate it, and put that value in, um, we can work out the equation of the normal, and then we can use the value of this point here to give us the, um, the uh, y-intercept. Okay, I'll just talk. I'll just run through that and see how it goes. So, um, to find the the gradient of the normal, we, what we're trying to do is we're trying to use y equals mx plus c to get the equation of the normal. So we need to find the gradient, which comes from this bit, and then from this bit, and then we need to find the c by substituting values in. Okay, so essentially we need to do dy by dx, differentiate this curve. So dy by dx, um, when we're differentiating um, a polynomial, we just do it one bit at a time. So we do the x squared first, and when we differentiate x squared with respect to x, what we do is we, we reduce the power by 1, and we put the number the, that's the power in front, so we times by that. Now x to the power 1 is just x, so that's just going to be 2x. We've got 2 times x to the power 1, which is 2x. That's the x squared bit. Then we've got 4x. So we reduce the power of x to um, its 1 there. So we reduce that to 0, which actually means it's 1. So it goes, the x disappears. And we times by the 1, which just leaves us with 4. And uh, any constant term we just cross out. It doesn't have any value when you differentiate it. So we're not interested in that. Okay, so we've got um, the differential is 2x plus 4. So that's the differential, that's the function of the gradient. So that tells us what the gradient is at every single point along the x-axis. So at the point we want, x equals minus 3, dy by dx, which is what we're trying to find. This is the m value of this, uh, it's actually not this um, normal yet, but this um, tangent to the curve um, is going to be uh, 2 lots of minus 3 plus 4, which is minus 6 plus 4, which is minus 2. So our gradient this way, uh, the gradient function, the gradient of that line is m, the m is equal to minus 2. So if we want the gradient of the normal to that, the tangent to that, perpendicular to that even, not the tangent, that is the tangent, the perpendicular to that, we need to do that uh, thing where we know that um, the perp grad equals the minus reciprocal so that means 1 over the original gradient. So if this is our gradient M um, to get the, 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 right, uh, the one at right angles we need to do the negative of uh, 1 divided by that one. Whoops, the negative of 1 divided by that one. Okay, so we've got um, minus 1 over minus 2. And those two minuses cancel, just leave us a half. So the perpendicular gradient, this gradient here, is going to be a half. So if this is minus 2, this is going to be a half. So the line we're looking for is y equals a half x plus something, some value. Okay, so what we need to do now is find one point that's on the original line, which is also on this line, which is this point here at minus 3. So when x equals minus 3, um, on the original graph, y equals um, minus 3 squared plus 4 times minus 3 plus 5. We still use the 5 when we're trying to work out the y coordinate. So we get 9 uh, plus minus 12 plus 5, and 9 plus 5 is 14, take away 12 is 2. So that when x is minus 3, y equals 2. So when x is, and because that's on this line, this curve, and this perpendicular line, we can use that here. So um, x equals minus 3, 
and y equals 2 gives us 2 equals a half of minus 3 plus the constant we're trying to find. Um, so that half of minus 3, half times minus 3, looks like an x but it's a times. Okay, so half of minus 3 is 1 and a half. Um, so minus 1 and a half. We need to add that to this side to get 3 and a half. I would do that in more detail, but I've run out of space. So c is going to be um, 2 plus 1 and a half, which is 3 and a half. So our equation, we place that in here, it's going to be y equals a half x plus 3 and a half. Or, um, more prettily, this is going to be equal to, we double everything, we get 2y equals x plus 7. You don't need to do that, that's just to make it get rid of the fractions. But anything, either of these two is going to give you full marks, five marks. Um, we get one mark for differentiating, 2x plus 4. Uh, one mark for getting the gradient when we put the minus 3 in, which is minus 2. One mark for getting the, um, the gradient of the perpendicular, which is the normal, what we call the normal, this line that's at, perpen at right angles to this point. And uh, we get... Um, so one mark for getting that to be um, a half, and then um, one mark for substituting the value to find C, and then one mark for the answer. There we go.